I'm going to take you through my step with the title Etiological Factors and Clinical Profiles of Patients Who Presented with Extreme Leukocytosis at the Arizona Regional Hospital. Uh, so, leukocytosis, generally, as you know, is an increase in the white blood cells above the upper limit of normal. Uh, but when you say extreme leukocytosis, uh, what it means is an increase in the white cell count. Uh, normally, uh, more than double the upper limit of normal. And the etiologists are multifactorial, including infections, for example, uh, use of high dose steroids, uh, hematological malignancies, solid malignancies, etc. Uh, to many clinicians, leukocytosis means infection. Uh, so sometimes, even when there is extreme leukocytosis, uh, there is a tendency not to consider. Uh, the malignant etiologies. So the objective of this study was to describe the etiologies as well as the clinical profiles of patients with extreme leukocytosis. Uh, it was a retrospective study in which uh, records of patients who attended the Arizona Referral Hospital uh, in the year 2021 and 2022 uh, were studied and the um, Eligible eligibility criteria were uh, having a white blood cell count of 50 uh, and above. So I'll be uh, using 50, but every time I, I mention 50, you should know you have to raise it uh, 10 to the power of 9. So, how were the study cases identified? Uh, this was through a review of full blood picture data uh, from the electronic database, which is called DISA. So, the full blood picture were pulled and then we are um, subsequently uh, analyzed. And then is the uh, e-medical, which is the electronic database uh, used for uh, a patient consultation, was used to capture other patient information, uh, which includes uh, the clinical presentation, in the signs and symptoms, uh, the underlying medical condition, um, and other details. And they, they were then reported in a special case report form. And now, going further to the, uh, the results, uh, so this is a table uh, showing the patient characteristics. As you may note, uh, the median age of, the, of this patient population were uh, 19.5, and the age ranged from 0 to 79 years. Uh, so patients had uh, various comorbidities and solid malignancies. A total of 54 patients had medical comorbidities, uh, and 11 patients had solid malignancies. And what I want you to note uh, in this table is the fact that sickle cell disease was the most predominant uh, comorbidity uh, in this patient population. Uh, again, this is a table summarizing the hematological parameters of patients. And uh, so you have the uh, white blood cell, hemoglobin, and platelets comparing the two. Uh, Groups, the, those with hematological malignancies and those uh, who had extreme leukocytosis due to infection. And looking at the white blood cell count, as you may note, uh, the median uh, white cell count was significantly higher in the, uh, in, uh, the hematological malignancy group, uh, going up to 221, while on the infection across in the malignant group, it went as high as 800, while it was only 140. In the, uh, in the malignancy group. The hemoglobin, uh, surprisingly, uh, those in the infection group uh, had severe anemia compared uh, to those in the malignant group. And the two explanations, uh, so one is because in the infection group, uh, you find there was a lot of patients with sickle cell disease, and as you know, a sickle cell patient live with anemia all the time. And the other reason is those who in the hematological malignancy group, many of them actually had chronic leukemia. And chronic leukemia, normally anemia is not an area feature. Anemia usually develops very late in the disease course. Prococytopenia, uh, as predicted, it was uh, comparatively low. Uh, platelets were comparatively low in the hematological malignancy group uh, compared with the uh, infection group, and this was statistically significant. Now, uh, going to the core, uh, uh, subject of this presentation, uh, the etiology of leukocytosis. As you may note in this pie chart, uh, hematological malignancies 
uh, accounted for most of the cause of extreme leukocytosis, while infection accounted for only 41%. 40% uh, was for other causes of extreme leukocytosis, such as uh, use of steroids, hemorrhoids, and others. And as you may see, uh, those uh, demonstrated this slide were some of the infections that were uh, identified uh, in, in those patients with infection. Again, this uh, chart uh, shows the. Um, uh, okay, so one point to note here is that leukemias were the leading cause of extreme leukocytosis uh, in the list of malignant etiologies. And uh, chronic mild leukemia accounted for more than half of patients with leukemias. And the degree of leukocytosis uh, predicted the etiology of extreme leukocytosis. And as you may see in the figure uh, shown there, so in those, uh, so this shows the patients uh, being grouped in different white cell uh, levels. So those who had the leukocytosis of uh, 50 to 150, uh, hematological malignance only accounted for 20%. But as you go higher, uh, those from uh, a white cell count of 150 and above, there was a, a, a progressive increase in the percentages of patients with it. Leukemias. And for example, from the white cell count of uh, 350, the hematological malignancies were the only cause of extreme leukocytosis. And looking at the platelet levels, uh, so thrombocytopenia was common both in the hematological malignancies as well as in the infection group. But when uh, I analyzed those with the platelet count of less than 50, then 80% of patients uh, who had uh, thrombocytopenia of less than 50 were those with hematologic malignancy. So, uh, in summary, thrombocytopenia of less than 50 were, was highly predictive of hematologic malignancy. Uh, with regard to the clinical presentation of patients, uh, looking at hepatomega, spinomega, and lymphadenopathies, as you may note in this slide, hepatomega and spinomega and lymphadenopathy was more common, uh, was commonly observed in those with hematologic malignancy. Very significant. A difference compared with the infected group. 24.5 uh, mortality was observed in the patient population, but there was no any significant difference in terms of mortality if you compare those with the malignancies and those with the uh, infectious complication. So to conclude, leukocytosis in excess of 50,000 is significantly associated with the malignant etiology. And the presence of thrombocytopenia, uh, spinomega, hepatomega, lymphadenopathy adds more to the possibility of the malignant cause. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.